All right, this right here, this is just a really quick small sample of kind of the mid phase of, of, of our training here. Just earlier, we um, were really going over our technique with, with our, our catchers here. We really were concentrating on stepping and driving. This is, this is our, our, our phrase or terminology that we use to get them to really learn how to experience range and to be able to um, work beyond that shin guard. A lot of a lot of catchers, a lot of young catchers will just kind of fall over or in order to get some range they'll jump across uh, not maintaining a good position and here we really teach them to really take a little jab step with their lead, lead foot and then really to push with that backside um, and find a nice sliding uh, spot on their lower shin guards. So we finished up our blocking by doing bullring blocking, which is uh, much more of a, of, of a drill that is going to emphasize their stamina. Uh, we know that when we start getting tired physically and mentally, we start losing a little bit of our technique. And so just to get our guys prepared and ready for the upcoming season, we'll throw this in. They're blocking 30 and 30 second blocks. They're competing against each other as well, uh, which makes the element that much more fun. We're really coaching them up and giving them the situation of, they're being a runner on third base, have good technique, but really at the, at the end of the day, you got to do whatever you can to make sure that you, you keep the ball in front of you to keep that run from scoring. Um, so you can see there is an element of, of, of difficulty as they're spinning, turning, finding the next ball, as they're maintaining their technique, as their bodies are getting tired, as their minds are getting tired, as they begin to lose focus a little bit. So it's a really fun drill. They get to compete and, um, and they get to react. So... That is bull ring blocking for Next Level Catching Academy. Time! Good job. Good work. Come on, get turned. Get turned. Hey, we adjust. Last one. Last one. All right, here we have another variation of our bull ring blocking, um, and this we did with some of our younger kids with a slightly slightly different uh, emphasis and competition here. Uh, for these guys, if they had a little a, a ball get by them, uh, their turn was over, and so it wasn't quite so much the same stamina. Uh, and the situation was the same, though, as our previous video. It was runner on third base, game-winning run. Uh, we worked on lateral blocking, and so we... Let them know that we're we're talking about pitches that are way off uh, the strike zone. They're out. Did you see that guy diving right there? Um, not to expect them right down in front of you. And a little bit more about the will of a catcher to block. Maybe a little less about technique, but always as always, we're, we encourage that. So it was a lot of fun. And here is just another uh, incredibly fun and tough drill that we um, all had loved back in college uh, again a drill about toughness and will um, to not let a ball by you the fatigue sets in into the legs the technique starts to fall apart a little bit but the objective remains the same keep going and do not let the ball by you uh, there is quite an art to this and this is actually the first time that we implemented this drill we brought this drill in the next level catching academy and uh, i think the guys liked it it was a good tough challenge rule and we're going to bring it back in the future it was awesome yes one more up boy up boy come on one more keep going nice So here we are back to working our throwing technique. Uh, this session was really largely focused on having some good pre-pitch and some, some good footwork, some good quick feet. 
Uh, and so our drill work all covered um, our step to catch element in, in terms of getting our catchers to get their feet to move and to get planted as soon as possible. Um, as these guys are going here, their pop to plant times were all right around that 0.17 to 0.23, which is actually pretty good. That's right around where we want all our catchers to be. Um, yeah, some of them, some of our guys are still maybe working on the rhythm, maybe working on their extension. But in this year, in this year's session was all about getting our feet going with our pre-pitch. Sometimes we can get a little bit long with our pre-pitch. We can, we can cover too much ground, which is not something we want to do. Um, but as we focus on our, in all our, on our clinics is to piece the throw together. And so this was our focus. That was a nice one right there. And coming up, that was another good one, is our coach that actually did throw a 199. Not a boy.